All right, so I'm Ryan Brown. I'm here with the Cinema Madhouse at Nightmare Weekend, Richmond, and I'm talking to Griffin Dunn. Uh, can't exactly name what you've been in, but everyone should recognize you. I feel like you've been in enough for us to know what you look like. Uh, how have you been enjoying Nightmare Weekend so far? It's been great. It's been really, really good. You know what? It's, um, it's only the second one I've done, um, and it just reminds me how... Uh, how many people have been affected by work that I've done? I, it's very true with, you know, the actors that I know, uh, you know, Richard Dreyfuss and Samantha Mathis, and, uh, we're here. We kind of forget, you know, we, we, we do live in a little bit of a bubble. And then when people come to your booth and they're, they know your work and it meant so much to them, and like, oh, I saw with my father was the first movie we ever saw together. And it's always been, you know, it's very, um, it's a very, uh, it's very touching. Right, and so when people get to talk to you about their experiences with what these films mean to them, does that add to the value of what you've done? Or do you think that's where all the value is in and of itself? Well, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it, on a personal level, it adds to the value. It makes me very kind of grateful. I mean, kind of when, um, you know, in most cases, you know, when you do a movie and you finish it and it comes out, um, you kind of don't really think about it anymore because you're on to the next movie and on to the next. And then you come to a place like this and uh, you're, you're reminded that there are a lot of people still thinking about this, you know? So, uh, uh, so that's definitely an added value to have made the movie in the first place. All right, so I want to ask, have you ever been to Virginia before or Richmond, if you have been to Virginia? I have been to Virginia and I have not been to Richmond uh and I was here driving, when I was driving across the country, I went through uh, Virginia. And, um, oh, and I was at a film festival in Virginia last year. And I'm trying to forget what town, but beautiful. I mean, it was this gorgeous horse country kind of place. So, yeah, I've been around Virginia a bunch of times. I feel like a, a lot of Virginia can represent really in and of itself its own country. Because you've got the countryside, you have the beach, you have the cities. Yes. Beautiful state. I, I'm thrilled to have you here in Richmond. I mean, it's an honor for me to even be able to talk to you right now. Well, but, thank uh, you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here, and I'm giving myself a little time in the morning and in the afternoon to wander around Richmond because I'm a bit of a, a history buff, and there's certainly a lot of history here. It is a beautiful city. I highly recommend the VMFA. Uh, Ian McCullough, if you talk to him, he will gladly recommend the exact same thing. He went there, walked from his hotel, said it was a little bit more of a walk than he expected. Okay, but, wait, wait. So what is it? Uh, it's the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Oh, uh, it's a beautiful yes, museum. Uh, and they that. have one of the trippiest statues you'll ever see sitting outside. It'll follow you around the entire camp. Oh, room. I will check that out. And um, I walked to the, uh, the uh, uh, Civil War Museum this morning. Yes. That was closed. Um, but I want to go to the Poe House. I want to... Uh, I'm going to something lodge, so I've got a private kind mm -hmm. of tour at the something tomorrow. Uh, that's the broom to my key. I don't remember <laughs> what it's called. <laughs> You're all good. No worries. Oh, so when you are at these events, I know you said this is your second one. Uh, do you how much? How many more do you plan on doing after you've seen the re the result or the reception to your work? Uh, I I don't know. It's sort of open ended. You know uh, they. You hear about them from, you know, my agent who handles this stuff quite far in advance. And, uh, you know, if uh, you're free and available, and uh, then then great. So that sounds like a, if Nightmare Week in 2024, they want you back. Can we expect Griffin Dunn to try and come back? Wait for it. Yes, <laughs> I'll be here. 24. All right, so I have two more questions for you. And they're, they're not necessarily about anything related yeah. to that. I got some fun ones for you. I got All right. most important question I've ever been able to ask an actor. If you had your life on the line and you could teach one, or you had to teach one animal how to drive in order to save your life, what animal do you think you're going to be able to teach? And I could actually really teach the, yep, the, the animal. The animal to has drive. to be able to drive by the end of I don't whatever arbitrary time period we pick here. Well, it depends what kind of animals how the time period. You uh, know, I mean, a monkey I could probably get a lot quicker, but I don't know <laughs> that I want a monkey drive around. Uh, but it should have some sort of. I, I, you know, my dog. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel uh, like a greyhound, long well, enough legs, I have able to see over the wheels. Yeah, and she's really, really smart. Um, and she doesn't drive, but she's so involved with my driving. 
and I, she's clearly picked up. So she knows a little bit. She already. She can at least put it in drive and ground. get it going. She's got the ground rules. So you've got infinite time to be able to do that and teach her how to drive. Uh, absolutely. Okay. And then uh, last one is for the people at home, what's your best piece of life advice? Anything work-related, creativity, anything like that? Just best bit of information. I would, uh, I would say when opportunity arises, um, really think it through before you say no. Don't ever let no be your first reaction. You'd be surprised how many people say no, and then you have to talk them into a yes. Um, it's there are so many things that I'm. I used to be a no guy, and. Uh, since I became a yes guy, I've had so many, so many more interesting experiences, established so many more uh, friendships, um, and um, and I've done a lot of good work along the way. Oh, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, and welcome okay. to Richmond. I hope you come hey, back for you. next year.